Hello my YouTube gang, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Cyprian Nsangi. We are continuing with our Postgres startup tutorial and today we are actually going to install and integrate PGSQL with XAMPP. It's going to be a long video, yes, but trust me, it's going to be very informative. It's really getting hot here and I just can't wait to see you there and get this deep down. And again, if you'll be having any problems, you can let me know in the comment section and I will be more than willing to assist. Let's go. So without wasting any time, we are going straight to the browser and browse postgres.org slash forward slash download. Then this is the, this is where we are going to download our installer for Postgres DB. And uh, I'll leave the link also down in the description so that you may view it. So I'm downloading for Windows. So I'm just going to click Windows here. And then click download installer. So you're going to choose uh, the distribution that you want. For example, I'm using Windows and it is it is a 64 bit. So I'm going to click this button download and it's going to download this uh, .exe file for me. The next thing that you are supposed to do is go straight to point number two where we will enter inside the ZAMP, fold, the ZAMP folder and uh, create another folder call it pgsql and then the version name. So I'm going to local disk C, then the ZAMP folder, then create a folder pgsql, if I'm right, yeah, pgsql, then the version name. So inside here, I'm going to create a new folder, name it pgsql, then the version name that I have downloaded will be version number 12. So another new folder, and I'll name it 12. 12. Then after that, now we are going to install our pgsql inside this folder. Now this is what we are going to do. So I'm going to where I have... Uh, where my file has has downloaded and it is on local disk E on uh, programming softwares and uh, where is it my pgsql here it is so I'm going to run this file here so after we have uh, run that file this is the window that is going to come up so I'm going to click next and then it is going to ask us the folder into which that it's going to, to install. And the folder that it's going to install is the one that we have created on the in the ZAMP folder. And uh, it's called pgsql. So I'm going to browse so that you can get it and uh, install inside there. Here we are ZAMP. Then we have a folder pgsql. Then 12. So that's where we are going to install our pgsql.exe. So OK. And then you can see the root. Then next. 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 So it's going to ask us for a password. So I'm going to put my own password. Then you confirm the password. Then next, the port number is supposed to be port 5432, so don't change it. Then uh, select the local used by the new database. Yeah, that's okay. Next, next. So it's going to start installing. So I'm going to pause this video. Then uh, after it is done installing, then I'll guide you with the next step. So my PG SQL has actually finished uh, installing and uh, as you can see the screen, so what I'm going to do, just click finish. Then, uh, so it's going to pull out this window, so you just uh, cancel, you just, are you sure you want to close the stack builder? Yes, just cancel that uh, window. So the next thing that, I'm, that we are supposed to do is uh, browse the, the following local disk C. Zamp. Then there is this file here called php.ini and uh, zamp.php. Then there is this file here called php.ini. 
so if this extension is not going to show what you're supposed to do is click view then uh, go to file extensions then you you can leave this this one checked so when you check that one it's going to show the file extensions and if again it is not showing you can also check this it will show the hidden items that may not be showing so after you do that you are going to open this php.ini file so i'm going to open it and do the following as i do so hit control f then write pgsql inside that uh, that text box then click enter so you can see here it has taken me to this uh, area in pgsql so to, what you're supposed to do here is uncomment this you just delete this uh, semicolons here where the pgsql applies so after that you save and then uh, you close the file so after that uh, the next step uh, you restart the upper chain so that it may apply the changes there we go my zamp is open so i'm going to start my upper chain stop it then start it again which means it's going to apply the changes then uh, after that let me check the next step that you're supposed to do is uh you're supposed to download the php admin to zamp now i have already don downloaded this but i'll leave the link down in the description so that you can go ahead and check it out and you download that folder so i as i've said i have already downloaded mine here it is php admin master zip so what you're supposed to do is extract this file to the folder which i will show you and uh, you are supposed uh, inside zam folder you're supposed to create uh, another file and name it php pg admin now this is the folder into which you are going to extract the contents of of this uh, php pg admin that you you'll be have downloaded extract files okay it's going to take uh, some seconds i have extracted the file so what uh, what you're supposed to do is uh, these contents now they are the ones which are supposed to be in that folder that we have created so i'm going to copy all of them and paste them to the folder that we have just created under uh, zamp which is phppg admin so i'm done i am finished i have finished copy pasting so the next thing that we're supposed to do is uh we, we are supposed to browse zam php admin conf uh zampa let me just close this so zam then conf so this file we are supposed to rename it and uh, we are supposed to remain to rename it to config.php like that it's going to ask the file name extension the file might be usable are you sure you want to yes so you just allow it to be like that so after you change it to that you you cop you click that file and open it so that uh, you can change some things as i will do what you are supposed to do is navigate to line number 18 and what you're supposed to add here is a local host like that then after that you are supposed to proceed to line number to line number that five and that six and paste these two lines of code here i'll again put them in the description so i'm going to copy the first one and in line number 35 here we go i'm going to replace this with that particular line of code then again in line number 36 i'm, I'm going again to copy this line of code and paste it there so we are done the next thing that we are supposed to do is head over to line number five and change it to false so down to line number one or five change this to false and then i think that's the last thing we are going to do in that file yeah save and close 
So we are going to save this file and close it. The next thing that you're supposed to do is uh, browse ZAMP Apache, then conf extra, then I'm going to look for a file named pd hyphen zamp where is it httpd hyphen zamp there we go so i'm going to open this file again so this file is open so there is a block of code that we're supposed to paste in here this file and uh, i'm going to paste it here just below this uh, directory as you can see so I, I again i'll put this code in the description so that you will also copy it and paste it there so copy then i'm going to paste it here save it then you can exit now after you have done that i think that marks the end of all the configurations that we are supposed to do it was a long process and now it's time to you you, you can restart your apache again and then run uh, to your browser and then you're supposed to type php pg admin i mean localhost then php pg admin mine it's coming here because i use it a lot so that's what you're supposed to browse and as you can see our pg admin has now has now been installed uh, so you can use both of them you can use the mysql and you can use php pg admin so if i copy this and uh, paste it here then i i change this to php my admin php my admin So here, let, let us just finish up with this first. And uh, Postgres, so you can see here, it will ask you for your, your, your username and your password. So your, the password that you're going to use is the one that you used while we were installing, of which I'll put mine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then click login. You can see now I am logged in. And... Uh, this is just uh, the, the, the database now and you can start creating your own database. For example, I can create mine and I, and I, and I can call it la, la, I can call it pgsql beginners. Then don't worry about the other fields so you can just create. So on the other side, you can see we have already browsed the PHP my admin. So you can use PHP my admin, and uh, and you can use also PHP PG admin in this using the same server and that is thumb. So our database has been created. So if I where is it now? If I browse uh, my DB. As you can see here, we have uh, the beginners uh, DB here. I can browse public and you can see there are no tables. So we will create tables using Laravel when we will be installing, La when we will be installing our Laravel scaffolding. So that's when we will uh, now start creating tables using Laravel migrations and whatnot. So thank you very much for continue for watching this video it was a long video and uh, but it was very educative so if you find it useful to you you can continue sharing you can continue liking continue adding new members to come and subscribe to this channel so that we may continue creating more and more videos you can hit the, notif the notification bell so that when i upload the next video you get to know that we have uploaded a new video so thank you very much and have a nice time